Here we go, guys. Okay. <laughs> this will be fun. Um, I want to show you. I had a specific question this week about the fill tool. Hi, I'm Laura Volpentesta from Fashion Illustration Tribe. Do you see this shape right here? This green shape I created that's watercolored. Well, this is not the greatest example, but like I'm going to clear the screen here. I'm going to explain just a few things to you first. Uh, I want to show you that. Um, w see where my mouse is right now? This is where my layers live. I can make this layer disappear or come back by sliding. This is the desktop version of Tayasui sketches. I can also make a layer disappear. Okay. The paper I'm using, you see this beautiful texture within the paper? Um, not showing up so much when I'm using the marker tool, but let me use pencil or something gritty and you could see how, you know, you can great, get great textural effects using this app. And I'm going to show you some of that in today's tutorial. I'm going to see this plus sign right here. I'm going to add uh, a layer and I'm going to make this layer disappear. And I'm going to start fresh to show you exactly the tools I like to use for fashion illustration. And I'm sharing my whole screen so you can see my Tayasui toolbar up here. And these tools, I may make them disappear later, but I'm going to keep them showing right now. And I think what I'm going to also do is import an image into a layer um, to use as an inspiration for my sketching. Hang on. Why not? Just to show you another feature and function of this app. So, um, oh, wait, okay, so layer. Um, looking at my options. I wanted to import an image and um, view edit. I do this. I usually use this app on my iPad and I thought it would, I would be much more helpful to come here with you as a newbie as well as a semi newbie. <laughs> you see how I just clicked import image. Okay. So that I'm not rushing through without feeling like a new person like you do. Let's see. I think I'm going to play with this. And this is just a photo that I'm going to um, keep on my screen as like a little inspiration to maybe do some illustration bits from, yeah, maybe, you know, just in case I want to have an, um, an image to refer to. Here's my little menus. That's, notice when I pull the top of these menus, I can move them around. So I have my layers menu, I have my color palette menu, and I also, oh, I have to click okay. Hang on. There's like, usually there's like an okay that completes my import. Oh no. Okay. My imported image is now stationary over here. And I'm using a pencil right now, a very, very fine pencil. Here's my pencil tool. And when I click it, I guess should be able to turn on and off. Okay. Any tool I select turns red. And as it turns red, do you see this bar here shows the different options for that tool? So wonderful. So wonderful. Normal. So I'm going to go back to the pencil right now because these are my key fashion illustration tools. I think I'm going to use a square tip. It crashed. My app crashed. Which app crashed? It looks like Tayasui crashed and not QuickTime Player. I'm going to reopen Tayasui. You can see that. See, uh, yes, reopen. That doesn't, that doesn't inspire you, does it? Hmm. I wonder why it crashed. Oh, I, I noticed that I lost my imported image. We'll try it again because that will be educational for all of us if this is not a good, you know, if it's causing problems. I can drag this around anywhere I want. I'll drag it over here. 
leave it once you see once you leave it once you release it it becomes permanent on the page okay and then I'm going to grab my pencil tool again I said I was going to use a square pencil um, by the way I'm also using a tablet uh, but you can use your finger on your mouse pad as well so, so these are different pencil tips see one tapers one is more um, thick all around and to be honest um, as I'm exploring different ones I'm going to use oh my goodness see how it, infinitely fine and thick and everything in between you can get it. it's just wonderful okay so I'm gonna do uh, what I call an under sketch of my model I'm gonna um, build her torso I'm gonna sketch the figure that I see in this photo oh that's funny I saw her as having a tilted pose but now I don't okay. so, mm -mm -mm. Oh, there's so much I could say about this. Um, I would love to be teaching you like all the things, and that's what I do in my programs. We'll we'll learn model drawing, we'll learn fabric rendering, you learn all the things. Um, you could do digital draw, digital drawing with your iPad or on your computer. I have a lot more fun and relaxation using it on the iPad. It's extremely intuitive and I like, when I create, I like to feel um, intuitive. I like to feel impulsive. I like to feel really free and um, I feel a little less so when I'm using the computer than when I'm using the iPad. In fact, with the iPad, you can even draw with your finger. Now, actually, there may be a setting on this um, tablet where I can use my finger on the tablet as well. This is my first time screen recording on this app. And that's why I'm going to just share it free to YouTube and not include it in the course. But you see how I'm looking? I'm looking for shadows. I'm building out the, her figure Let's see this. and then I'm looking for some details there's buttons on the cuffs of her pants there's shirring on her waistband and then there's this diagonal uh, gathering here and okay so, and if I need to erase something, I can take the eraser and I can adjust the size of the eraser so it doesn't always have to be huge. It can be a lot smaller, etc. Okay. Here's her head up here. Okay. So this is what I call my under sketch. And remember, I can take a layer and I can adjust its opacity. It'll adjust whichever layer I'm selecting. Oh, but my original, my illustration, <sighs> my photo is also, that's interesting, is also on that layer. I didn't realize it. Okay, so now I'm going to bring up a new layer and do my actual illustration. And just for today, I think I'm going to use pen. I love, love, love the pencils. Um, if I press Control... Oh, you can't see it. If I press control, I can adjust the size and or the opacity of my tools. By just dragging, you see my mouse, I can make it skinnier and I can make it more sheer if I want to. Okay, and then I've got, um, I start, oops, why isn't it drawing? I think I'm too close to the bar. It moves okay so here I'm gonna make some more definitive lines okay the, I'm feeling really wobbly and that's because I haven't used this tablet in a long time but it's um it's slippery 
like the stylus is slippery on the tablet. Um, and that's something that takes so much getting used to, like because a pencil on paper, there's that natural grittiness that slows things down and it happens to slow things down to the perfect speed for the human brain. <laughs> A perfect speed that gives you time to think as you draw, or this is kind of like downhill skiing with your pencil, that's what I always say. Or like ice skating. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to, um, oops, something back there. Let me fill in her hairline. Oh, this is an interesting, uh, see, this is why I want to be a beginner with you. Um, I can't sketch way up high on the screen without, um, without it thinking that I want to drag the screen. So what I wanted to show you today, of course, I didn't even tell you yet, and I could have told you at the very beginning, I want to use gouache and pencils, but using digital tools, right? So I got gatherers in these pants that go from the top to the bottom. And then it's smooth. I love that it's smooth at the cuff, this like cuff. It's almost like her pant legs are like sleeves, you know, with cuffs and buttons at the bottom. And then you know, there's more gathers running. Some of them run all the way up and down. There's a beautiful negative shape running between the two legs. And shade. I'll look for some major shadows, but I can come back and do more shading later. In fact, I can come choose a marker that's larger and I could go add some major oh that's super huge though uh, pretzel Z will remove things um, and actually I also wanted to zoom oops come pretzel Z again why don't we stick to it Laura okay I'm going to draw out the shape of her feet to complete her silhouette and ankle straps. Okay. So now what I want to show you is that I can like color her in, right? Wait, how do I zoom? I forget how to zoom. I'm going to show you how you can get information about your tools. Um, that the one no looking for keyboard controls edit view tools I think this is zoom I want to show you that okay I forget I'll come back to that later I want to show you my favorite tool which is the um, gouache what I call the gouache tool but I'm going to do it on a separate layer so I can add a layer. See how I just added a layer? Well, now I want to move the layer. <gasps> can I not? Because on the Tayasui app, yeah, I think I could do it here. It's very easy to drag layers into a different order. So I can add a layer under this, like under here. Watch, let's see what happens. Oh, see? Okay, I just added a layer here, which is behind, not on top of, under. Okay, because these, these layers, they act like sheets of paper. This would be on the bottom. This would be the next one. This would be on top of that. This is on top of that. That's on top of that. Okay. Double-clicking the eraser will erase everything I did on that layer. Um... But so I want to paint on this layer so that the paint is behind the model. 
So let me show you. First, I'll take a paintbrush to just show you how the paintbrush tool looks. Um, even though I rarely use that one. Gosh, there are many different versions just to show you. And let me pick a color. I'm going to do something like... Mm, there's red. There's all these different colors. There are all these different tips. However, I'm going to click control again so that I can bring down the size. Mm, see what I want to show you is that when I paint, see how the paint is behind? It's behind my drawing. Okay, let me take that away. Um, but you see how it's hard for me, it's difficult for me to fill in shapes without going outside the lines. Um, oh wow, I'm noticing it's easier than it is when I use the app the app on my iPad because the harder I press I get like a bigger fill but I'm noticing that when I press lightly I can fill in smaller areas you guys this is revolutionary to me because I had no idea and did you notice how it started out off as a wash and then my color kept getting darker and darker I'm going to show you why that see for example you see this big loose Cool. and then you see how it just every time I go in and color again it gets more and more saturated which is wonderful that's because of this you see this tool right here once I click it it quote unquote dries and if it dries then the next time I pass and then I dry it and then I pass and I dry it see it behaves differently than um, if I colored the whole thing, how can I do this? Let me try to control this differently because I wasn't able to get a light wash, which I may have wanted. However, I was able to get an uneven wash, and I love that for uh, watercolors, period. Now, I'm going to make this layer disappear and open a new layer again because I want the opportunity to show you another way I could color in this sketch which by the way I can make my under sketch disappear and let that just be the illustration personally my style is such that I love to have pencil lines and process lines showing up inside my sketches yeah I like the process but like Let's say the tool I wanted to teach you today is this one, the fill tool. You can fill an area. For me, this is the only tool on Taiyasui that really feels like gouache to me. Now you can select, as you can see, there's a lasso, a paintbrush, and a bucket. The bucket means you can fill a whole page. Pretzel Z. Then paintbrush means you can choose whatever pattern it is and paint with it. That could be fun for fashion as well, huh? Interesting. I've never ever used that though. Now I'm going to show you exactly how I always use it. I use the lasso tool and I use this. See where my mouse is? Favorite, favorite, favorite. Oh my God, I love this. Now, that's interesting. Um, to me, this feels like watercolor. So now I can color in her pantsuit. Um, you know what? Just to show off with you guys, I'm going to show the color mixer. That's not really one. I wanted the color picker. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, this which means I can drag my mouse. Yeah, this looks more like um, the color of what she's wearing in the photo. Let's see. Yes, okay. Now I can drag that down here. Actually, that could be fun to keep out all the time. I don't usually do that. Okay, 
So now I'm on this layer still. See, see where I am, the layer I'm on. It's still behind. It's under my inky lines. And I can color in. Now you don't have to use all these different layers, but what happens if I color on this layer? Let's see. Do you see how it masks over my pen lines? Okay. Um, let me just erase that. But if I work under my pen lines and I use that tool, then my lines stay black. Understood? So my my pen, I'm actually able to paint under my pen lines, which is something you could never do on paper, right guys? So in this case, I like to use this tool. You know what, I'm going to, while we're here, I'm gonna add that color into the palette and I'm gonna add one more color uh, before I color in my pantsuit. Well, I could start to color in my pantsuit. I wanna show you what usually before I color my garments, my favorite thing in the world to do first. See, there's little white areas showing because my hand is wobbling, but I kind of love that because she's wearing a shiny garment. So any white areas that remain look like shine. Now here's something to notice. If I paint something with this tool and then I paint another something over it, it does get a little darker. Um, but if I want to shade, I usually add black to my color. And look, I can add what I call shadow shapes to my illustration. Shadow shapes are what give it dimension. Yeah. Don't matter how many years, I never love this stuff any less. Never, never, never. So do you see how I'm adding contrast? Um, this like liquid high shine by adding darkness. See the higher the contrast is between the base color and the shadow, the brighter and brighter the shine seem to be. There's like a diagonal shadow here. And then I can also, I'm going to go all the way up here and all the way towards the white to get my um, highlights. But in order to highlight, I'm going to play with something. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to play with something. Um, hmm. I'm going to use a pencil. I can do samples on the side here. Does how's this? Oh wow, it's so pink. I like how the one in the photo, the photo, my photo reference image is more like yeah. And I can go back and pick it maybe here I want to use my rougher version of the pencil. And notice I'm doing all of this. I haven't used a zoom tool at all because I couldn't find it yet. I forget, well, it's a keyboard chic shortcut, and I don't want to, um, I forget what it is, because I haven't done this in so long. Okay, this is kind of a almost neon white or greenish shine. I, I wanted it to be warmer, uh, but that's okay. I can, you know, pick another color later. I could even just start over or whatever, but I want to show you the effect. You see how things are, like, popping? Well, what I super love to do before I paint a garment ever in an illustration, what I usually love to do is, um, by the way, look here. Oh, see, it is greenish. I didn't even know it was greenish. I wasn't looking there. I thought I had dragged it over to a yellowish uh, area. See where my, okay, that's acting weird. This is the kind of color I wanted. Yes, that's the color I wanted. And do you see how every time I create a color, the color shows up here and gives me the option to add it to my palette? So now, actually, that's the color I actually wanted. See how it's warmer? Meaning, you know, it's yellower and not green. The other one felt green. Okay, And that's good because it's almost like gold. So I can use that for her gold shoes. 
any of the shine, I'm just going to go over them now and change them to that color by just coloring over them with my colored pencils, which I love. And a little shine right there. Okay, so now my favorite thing, though, that I usually do at the beginning, and I didn't today, is skin tone. So to skin tone, I try to get to orange. I'm dragging. I don't like the way that tool's acting. Okay, I'm going to use this. I want to get to yellow. No, I want it to get to orange. But it's so jumpy. There's definitely something I'm missing. Um, oh, I get it. Okay, guys. So before I custom mix my color, I can just go to orange, plain old orange here. And it will show me how that color is made down here. And if I want to adjust it, like I often add gray to my orange to make a skin tone. Um, but here I can I can control how much gray, and um, I'm not liking the color. Okay, this I like. I like, I like this. I'm trying to find a skin tone for my girl for this particular look. And that's why it's great to work from sample photos because you could just go for a color that looks like your photo. Um, and so again, I could use a paintbrush to color in her skin. But it's um, I can't control the edges of it so much, but that's also okay. Um, if if I use a light touch with my stylus, then it doesn't bleed as far. This is me lightly touching with my stylus. This is me pressing hard with my stylus. Big difference, okay. But and if I do use the pen, this particular tool, this watercolor tool, I can. Oh, okay. I was trying to add shadows but it kept bleeding into the old paint. So remember, I need to dry it by clicking this red dot. And then I could add, watch this. The shadow is getting darker and darker quickly because I used a color that has gray in it. Actually, it makes it um, get even darker as I add layers than it would if it were just like a softer color. So I'm going to add some shadows wherever I see fit. I really want to zoom in to draw her face details. Wow, I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, but I'm going to go back to my layers, make everything disappear. I really like this. But I'm going to make it disappear for a moment so that I can... Um, I want to add another layer and show you one last tip. I want to paint a layer under my pen drawing, pen lines. I'm going to select my skin color and my lasso tool and I'm going to trace shapes that I want to fill with skin. Now usually anyone who studies with me Knows I always add skin before I color my clothes because once I've added skin I feel that she comes to life and I feel that I can start dressing my model because she's there so now this time why don't I I could use it on do it on a different layer or same layer that's just a personal choice like I said you don't have to use layers for anything really I mean, when I work on paper, I sure as heck don't use layers for anything. Um, we talked about how you can leave white areas for shine or highlight. But don't forget, oh, I love this, that I could also use my eraser tool. It won't erase my lines to add shine anywhere I want. Or... And by the way, my eraser tool, if I press control, also I can adjust the size or opacity of my eraser. So for example, um, here I've made it very tiny. Oops, no, I haven't. <laughs> control Z. Actually, I'm going to go back um, and let this layer disappear too. And I'm going to do one more version where I... Um, watercolor with the lasso tool but this time I'm gonna make her suit blue 
fill it in. Oh my gosh, I just got a great idea. Oh, I'm not on the layer I thought I was. I want to be on this layer. Fill it in with blue. I just got a fabulous design idea while I was doing this. And you know, that could happen to you too. That's what design is, right guys? So maybe I want to do red on the cummerbund and red on the sleeve and red down one side, maybe a red clutch purse, you know. We get to design, right? But then what I wanted to say was that I could add shine, if it's still a shiny fabric, um, with a pencil. Right on top of it. I can add shine even on the shoes and the sleeve and across the bust here and in the cummerbund. But you see how it's all very white? It's all very, um, what's the word? Flat in a way. So I really feel like when I add my model's skin, Oh, this is my favorite color picker. How did it, I get it? Oh, you guys, it's too easy. <sighs> the color picker, if you just select the color and hold your stylus down on it, that's how you get this color picker. Wonderful. I'm going to go with this. And I'm going to select that color to fill in. Now I know some of this is like sort of vague or like rushed through, but it is great content. I would love to know if it, you know, don't forget to subscribe or like or share if you find this helpful. Just filling in my model's skin because once her skin is there, I have this living lady. Um, and you know, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here now I have a few different designs, right? And if I want to take my eraser, I can come to the layer where I want to erase anything and just clean up stuff. There's just so much that we can explore. To oh, that's interesting. Can explore together. Um, that what I think I am formulating as we speak is a Tayasui desktop course. So it would be um, maybe a six week, six module online course where you can, let me just write this down. I could do a demonstration like this, you know, six of them, but we would also have an online community area where you can share your progress and ask questions and I can tell you, you know, which tablet to get, which computers, which, how to get Tayasui's on your desktop, Tayasui sketches on your desktop. So this would be the desktop course because I also love to teach it for iPad. But with desktop, it's compatible with Photoshop and all that. So you can download these things. Um, let me just Instagram. My Instagram handle is my name, Laura Volpentesta. And if you follow me there, you know, we can stay connected and you'll know when there are courses. You can also subscribe at fashionillustrationtribe.com. That's my website. Um, to get email updates as well about courses. But like, I love to do prints. I love to do textures, different sizes. You know, tell me, oops, tell me. <laughs> it's hard for me, I'm like teaching and, and drawing and thinking. Tell me in the comments, tell me on the socials what you want to learn, you know, because in this Tayasui Sketches app course, we can have a lot of fun learning, just learning all the different, like learning through creating illustrations and design sketches. 
So stay in touch. I look forward to meet you. This is Laura Walden Testa signing off for now. Thank you for joining me. How do I? Here it is.